Hello, this is Anja again, and today I want to share something which I got, and I think it is very uh, interesting because um, there is both a lady, Ellen Worldwide, who had a division about the 9 11 prophecy, and she died in 1915, and this 9 11 happened first in the 21st century. Before I begin, I want to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for your loving kindness, also that I may share this prophecy to see if uh, I invite was a servant of the living God, your servant, who did that what you wanted her to do. Help us to understand the important message and give us your Holy Spirit. This I pray in your almighty name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Nine eleven prophecy. Let's see. Many years ago, I read about it and I did understand what it meant. And see, there is a, one of the twin towers and one of the airplanes flew into the twin towers. And short time after, also the other one. And this report you can find in a book from her, which is called Testimonies for the Church, Volume Nine, page twelve. On one occasion, when in New York City, I was in the night season called upon to behold buildings rising story after story toward heaven. These buildings were warranted to be fireproof, and they were erected to glorify the owners and builders. You know, this reminds me of the Tower of Babel, when the people wanted to make themselves a name. Let's see what happens. Higher and still higher, these buildings rose, and in them the most costly material was used. Those to whom these buildings belonged were not asking themselves, how can we best glorify God? The Lord was not in their thoughts. You see here, both twin towers were I thought, oh, that those who are thus investing in their means could see the cause as God sees it. They are piling up magnificent buildings. But how foolish in the sight of the ruler of the universe is their planning and devising. Here, the two um, airplanes flying directly into the twin towers. And the people who are erecting those high buildings, what are they doing? They are not studying with all the powers of heart and mind, how they may glorify God. They have lost sight of this. The first duty of them. See here, a picture from New York, where the twin towers were. There's nothing, it's only a ring. As these the lofty buildings went up, the owners rejoiced with ambitious pride that they had money to use in gratifying self and provoking the envy of their neighbors. Much of the money that they thus invested had been obtained through exaction, through grinding down the poor. This is happening by the associate. The rich are exploiting the poor ones. And on both sides there is a lot of the scene that next passed before me was an alarm of fire. Men looked at the lofty and supposedly fireproof buildings and said, they are perfectly safe, but these buildings were consumed as if made of pitch. Can, can you remember? No fireman could have. Here's one. And uh, it was too high to reach the fire and the explosions. <clears throat> the fire engines could do nothing to stay the destruction. The firemen were unable to operate the engines. Neither the fireman stalled. Perhaps you will find it on YouTube. You see here the fireman, and he was very sad about the situation. He doesn't know what it should be. Now comes the word that I have declared that New York is to be swept away by a tidal wave. 
This I have never seen. I have saw it as I looked at the great buildings going up their story after story. What terrible scenes will take place when the Lord shall arise to shake terribly the earth. Then the words of Revelation 18, 1 to 3 will be fulfilled. The whole of the 18th chapter of Revelation is a warning of what is coming on the earth. Just to take my Bible, read it. You can read it. You can also read it online. The best Bible is the authorized King James Version. I will only read these three verses. Not a call, but something in my throat. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are vexed rich through the abundance of their prophecies. And verse 4 asks the people of God to come out of Babylon. But can't you study for yourself? The best is to uh, read the Bible under prayer and looking for the references. The Bible is self explaining that you can ask for the Holy Spirit and He will lead you in your studies. I think the whole of the 18th chapter of Revelation is a warning of what is coming to the earth. They have strong But I, I might write, but I have no light in particular in regard to what is coming on the earth. Only I know that one day the great buildings there will be thrown down by the turning and overturning of God's will. From the light given me, I know that destruction is in the world. One word from the Lord, one touch of his mighty power, and these massive structures will fall. Things will take place, the fearfulness of which we cannot manage. Yeah, this is true. Because the other things are also predictions, like countries. And also, she's uh, explaining very well Daniel and Revelation. Yeah? Main books of prophecy which are worth to The picture of the twenty. I don't know if they have built a new one. I don't. I think so. Since that times, earthquakes, tempests, tidal waves, pestilence, famine, mine, and destructions by fire and flood have multiplied. All these and distress of nations with perplexity declare that the Lord's coming. Can see today. You can see it with these uh, fame mines and catastrophes and people who are hungry and dying and starving and unrighteousness and whatever, theft and all forms of evil crimes and things we can we can't imagine how bad it is. But the Lord's coming is near. And therefore, we should study the prophecies. I hope I will find it now. Take a moment, please. Yes, it is Second Peter, was chapter one, verse nineteen and twenty. To know what is coming about this earth. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake, as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the prophecies are very, very good. And I would like to encourage you to study. 
hypocrisy, um, the great controversy from and and many, many other books, also the desire of ages to explain the same thing. Let's be prepared because of that. Thank you for your interest in listening to me. No, I'm not kidding. We are not. And thank you. But I got beautiful slides, which are so good. I've read it many, many years ago. And I ask you, let us be prepared. Let us take away all the sins from us. That we are looking at the beauty of the author and the finisher of the book. That you will do that what is your good pleasure in us for the giving to your glory. We are doing your work. Kindly forgive us all our sins and fill our hearts with your Holy Spirit. Is our pray in the Almighty name of God. Amen. Thank you for watching and listening until another time. Have a blessed time. Bye bye.